Next question is from Chris Frouts. You have $5,000 to spend on a home gym. What do you buy? Wow. $5,000, you could get a, a lot. sick sit-up. Yes. A, a amazing setup for- Especially in these days. Yeah. I would start with, uh, number one, I would start with a a rack. And now, I you know, barbells and dumbbells are important too. Of course, we're going to get there. But a good rack allows you to, to really do a lot of stuff with your free weights. Because yeah. here's the thing with free weights. You have an almost infinite supply of exercises that you can do with free weights. That's one of the things I love about them. I'm not just getting a rack, though. I'm getting a PRX rack because I want something that actually folds away and that doesn't kill the space that I may potentially be using for my car or for an office. And also room. stable because uh, I've worked out with a lot of racks that are made for home gyms because mm -hmm. there's commercial racks. Those are the ones you go in, in the big gyms and use. Typically very stable. The home gym ones, I've used a few of them that are a little rickety, and that's okay for the first few months or year, but if you plan on using this for years, you want something stable, especially if you're racking a barbell on there with, with weight. The PRX racks are very, very stable, and they don't use up much space at all. In fact, if you went on PRX for under $5,000, you could get, uh, you'd get you'd be able to get a rack, barbell, Dumbbells, plates, bench. No, you would. So here's, uh, so you would literally be able to get like. So uh, hopefully, if this is a listener, I don't know if you follow us on Instagram or not, but you know, I definitely know I have. I think you guys have too. Posted several pictures of our uh, our trucky PRX setup, right? Um, that was more expensive than five thousand, but the most expensive part of it is the dumbbells. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you wanted to save money and I was on a budget, I would get everything that we have, yeah. and then and adju multiple adjust benches, and then like an adjustable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. We have multiple benches. We built a. We a bought platform. all the dumbbells. Well, yeah, we bought tons of dumbbells. We have enough to be able deadlifting seven hundred yeah. pounds. Like we have, a, we have more than you need. You can and get it, away with one barbell too. Yeah, you exactly. Know, to be a minimalist. Yeah, so we overkilled that, and still wasn't that much over five thousand dollars. If you were to do like an adjustable dumbbells, you could literally get almost everything else that we have for that setup for that price. Oh yeah, like the folding rack is going to be between between a thousand or fourteen hundred bucks, I think, when I looked yeah. on their site, um, and that's without our discount. So you got that. One barbell, some plates, uh, adjustable dumbbells, um, your bench, and then if you want to go real crazy, you can add a pulley adjustment, which uh, or attachment, I should say, and then you're you're pretty much set. I've been so so. Here's the thing: I've been working out for a long time. For mo for the last I don't know 15 plus years that I've been working out, 90 percent of my workouts are with what I just said: mm -hmm. a rack, barbell, dumbbells, adjustable bench. And a cable attachment, which is very basic. It's like, and I barely ever use it. That's it. Yeah. That's all I've used. And I've, I trust me, I'm, I am at no loss for exercise variety. You know, I can do, a, I, I do different exercises all the time. Well, especially if it's in your home, you want to have things look a certain way and be organized. And so it's just nice that they have like wall attachments for all these things like rubber bands or, you know, even if you have a kettlebell, there's a way to kind of like display those in, in a way where you, you can walk in, everything's organized, mm -hmm. it's not in your way. So, uh, you know, it's come a long way, man. Cause before that, it's like, you would just have everything resting on the ground at your house. Mm -hmm. Like there'd be a bench, maybe like outside that you would use. It's all rusty it's and you know so as far as like the options go there's really a way that you can look at you know kind of picking your essentials and then organizing it and having you know a place for everything which uh i i, I have found like it's just been a, a game changer for me well that's the big the biggest difference today is that exactly that like back you know just 10 15 years ago if you wanted an at-home gym spot you had to have the room the extra room you either had to have an extra room in your house or you now no longer can park your garage in that space because you've got all this equipment in it. The beauty of the PRX stuff is, I mean, we could, you can still pull mine and your truck in that garage. I yeah. mean, that's crazy. Those yeah, things, what is it? How much of it off? I mean, you're, you're literally talking no, about- No, not even that, dude. You're talking You're talking less than a foot off the wall. It's yeah. like six inches off the wall. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. And that, so the, those trucks are, both Justin and my truck are are, are really long because they have the extra cab on them. And they Super long. And you have to have a, 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 a decent sized garage to even fit them in. And we're I think we're only a few inches from the, the front and the back and we could still pull the truck in with that rack and everything in there because it totally folds up against the wall and all the weights go up against yeah, the wall. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that earlier when I brought up that article about um, the prohibition gyms, and all, it also talked about the explosion of at-home gym equipment. It's yeah. still climbing. Yeah. It is oh, still yeah. climbing. And it, my prediction, I think once people really experience what it's like to be consistent at home, 
a lot of people are not going to want to go and back there's to the some, gym. There's real cool videos out there too for some do-it-yourself things, added items. Like I you know, was able to kind of research that and, and figure out how to make uh, a platform. And so if that's part of your programming you know, and you can do that, there's ways to make that on the cheap. Uh, as well to accentuate, you know, the racks well, and everything. You, else you made you that have. for under three hundred bucks, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. If you were to buy that rack, and that's a legit platform. Oh, I mean, that's, that's a, a really just, nice just horse mats and, and, and you know plywood. I don't. Even, so here's the so I love that platform, but in my garage, I don't even have a platform. All I put down were the horse mats. Yeah, so and horse I, mats is just fine. And I have the bumper plates. Yeah, so if yeah. I drop the barbell, you know, my 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 garage is concrete yeah. plus the horse mat, horse mats to prevent chipping or whatever. Not a problem. But yeah, the the platform you made is. Be- it's amazing. It's really, really nice and with, uh, under 300 bucks. Yeah, no, if you have yeah. a budget like 5000 you can build a, a very nice- Oh, you'll, some damage with that. You'll have, yeah. a, you'll have an amazing home gym. Yep. 